teleportation, it, it really is this kind of strange Trekkian thing. So the idea is, let me take Arthur, maybe you could be um, not Kirk, but Captain Picard. <laughs> oh my god, he is Captain Picard. <laughs> what? What happened? <laughs> so the idea behind teleportation is you'd like to dematerialize Captain Picard here and rematerialize him over there. Now, for a long time, people thought that quantum mechanics would prevent this from happening, because when you look at something, you mess it up. And so if you have to look at something to get in for enough information about it to teleport it, you would just not only dematerialize it, but destroy it. But this funky entanglement, this quantum weirdness where things are, have no, things that dis, far away from each other know much more about each other than they ought to know, this actually allows you to do this. So the idea is you set up a bunch of entangled particles, you make a measurement on Captain Picard together with the entangled particles over here, and this generates information just a string of bits, ordinary classical bits. And you take those bits and you send them over to Scotty, over here, and this allows Scotty to rematerialize Captain Picard over there. By changing the state of the other entangled particles, he can recreate what was destroyed over here. So it was just information, he was destroyed here, but he's reconstituted just the same over there? Well, if everything works okay. Uh, well, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's right. So everything, if everything works just as you would like, then, then things get reconstructed. And this has been done with perfect. photons? Yeah, so it's done it, the way it's been done now, and actually for 20 years now. Uh, this is not something that, that is completely new. People since the mid-1990s have been teleporting particles of light from here over there. You have a pair of entangled photons. You bring in another photon, make a measurement of this photon with half of the entangled pair, send some classical bits of information over here, monkey with this other photon, and voila, it is the same. And theoretically, that could happen between here and Mars or between here and the other side of the galaxy. At what speed does it happen? You have this funny feature of entanglement that, that our macroscopic intuitions tell us that when you make the measurement over here, something happens instantaneously over there. But that's not actually true. It's more that this quantum funkiness, this is, by the way, a technical term. <laughs> I once saw James Brown in concert, and, and he, somebody said, well, James, what's going to happen next? And he said, I don't know, but whatever it is, it's got to be funky. <laughs> quantum. <laughs> yeah, quantum funkiness. So it's not. It's faster than light, slower than light, I'm behind. No, so it, 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 it actually is, is kind of irrelevant. It doesn't happen faster than light, but the, the message that you send to reconstitute the information can go no faster than the speed of light. So you can't recreate the thing you're teleporting over here faster than the speed of light. Until you get the information. That's and then right. hope that you put it together the way it was when it started. It sounds dangerous. Mm -hmm.